हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड सिंक फंक्शन इन फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म सिंक फंक्शन इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट टू एनालाइज द सिग्नल नाउ वी कैन डिफाइन सिंक फंक्शन एज सिंक ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू साइन एक्स बाय एक्स आर we can define it as sink of x is equal to sin pi x by pi x here sink function can be of two types first one is unnormalized sink function and second one is normalized sink function so this is the representation for unnormalized sink function and this is for the normalized sink function this is the representation of sink function here sink function will be having maximum value at x is equal to 0 so at x is equal to 0 sink function will be having maximum value and this sink function approaches 0 in oscillating manner as it goes from minus infinity to infinity so this is the representation of sink function in this sink function the waveform which is moving from positive to negative here again it will move to positive half of the graph so here this point where the signal is exactly on the x axis we call that as zero crossing so on x axis wherever we are having the waveform we call that as zero crossing so these points can have integer value for normalized sink function and it can have the value in terms of pi 2 pi 3 pi for an unnormalized sink function so it can have pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi and so on here it can be minus pi minus 2 pi minus 3 pi and so on for unnormalized sink function for normalized sink function at these points it can have the integer value now let us understand the properties of sink function the first property of sink function states that sink of x is equal to we can write it as sin x by x so this term will be even function of x so this term will be even function of x if we say even function which means if you can see the graph it is evenly distributed towards right half of the graph as well as towards left half of the graph so the sink function is evenly distributed second property states that sink x will be equal to 0 for x that will be equal to plus r minus n pi so this property is very much important for solving the problems now let us see why sink x is equal to 0 for x is equal to plus or minus n pi since we know sink x can be written as sin x by x this will be equal to 0 for x value equal to plus or minus n pi so here since we are having sin term if we consider a sin wave at zero crossing the value will be pi 2 pi 3 pi and so on so at each zero crossing value sin wave will be equal to zero and the value of uh, x will be equal to pi 2 pi 3 pi and so on so generally we can say sin x will be equal to 0 for x value equal to plus or minus n pi therefore we can say sink x will also be equal to 0 for x is equal to plus or minus n pi so this is very important property you need to remember this is about introduction to sink function hope you have understood the topic thank you